in this video, I'll be showing you how to work with buttons on um, card.co. So this is the template that I'll be working with. If you don't know how to access templates, all you need to do is to head over to your dashboard, log in, and um, if you have a site you're already working on, then you just click on the pencil icon. But if you don't, you come over here to new site and you select a template you want to work with and you can continue from there. All right, so I'm going to continue on this site. And uh, for this tutorial, I want to place a button under this text that will take me to maybe google.com. Let's work with that. So what I'll do first is click here and then I'll click buttons. As you can see, the button has been added to the bottom of the page. All I have to do now is just drag it to the top. So to drag it, I can click and hold and then I'm just going to slide it up. And then I'll place it under this one, under this text. As you can see, it is under the text now. So now I can customize the button and I can click it to select it if you don't have it selected. And then I'll click here. So as you can see, we have some options that we can work with. So I want to make the button red and I want this to say Google. So over here it says label. This is where you can change it to whatever you want. So for me, it's going to be Google. You can see now it has changed to Google. And then this icon over here, you can change it from here. So you can see so many things that you can choose from. I wish there was a way to search. Let's see if I can get magnifying glass. There is no magnifying glass. Let's see search. Okay, yeah, this is it. So I'll click here. As you can see, the icon has changed. So URL. Now this is the address, the website you want the button to take people to. So for this tutorial, it's going to be google.com. Next, the colors. It says optional, but this color is not ideal because it's making the text not readable enough. So I would suggest going for maybe red. And then when people hover over the button, it should change to maybe black since the text is white. So next you want to make sure gradient is disabled by changing this to invisible, something like that. The red is too sharp, so I'll bring it down a bit. Okay, this is better. The label should be white. It is white already, but just to make sure. And the icon is also white, so the icon is this magnifying glass. So we are done with the basic customization. Next, you can come over here and you can change some stuff. So you can change the style to outline. It's going to get rid of the color or solid to give it a color. If you can get rid of the icon by going for label only, you can see Google is now the only thing visible. Or you can add both. So choose the way you want. There are so many options here. So I'll go for this one. Oh, let's do it this way. And yeah, this one is better. If you scroll down, you can get to reduce the size of the button and the height as well. This is going to change the position of the text. Finally, you can give it a round border. So if I click done, you see this is how it looks like now. You can change the font, the size of the text. You can make it big or small. You can also make it bold. And so many things over here. So all you have to do is just play around with the options until it looks the way you want. And after you're done, you just click done. And as you can see, this is it. So if I save this page, and I click view site. You can see the button here. So if I click on it, it should take me to google.com. All right, so that's how you create and work with buttons. If there are specific things you're looking to do with buttons, you can ask me in the comments and uh, I'll try to make a video on it. But with that said, thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next video.